All right, now it's time for Grim. Come here, Grim. Sleepy boy. You're going after Arctic. Don't get too, too excited. All right. My big old piggy pup. So, he'll be next. All right. We're going to do a trade-off. Yep, we're doing a trade-off. I had to change my shirt to a crappier shirt for this because I'm going to hate it. This won't be probably as bad. I don't know because Grim's a little bit more mellow. He, oh, let me phrase he that. Loved his mom. He's a lot more mellow. I don't know why you did a side camera. I'm Mateus. So I'm watching the bath time. I'm gonna have to change my pants too because it's towel wet. Yeah. But no, uh, like I say, he's a little bit more calm, but they haven't had a bath in a little bit. Only because with the weather being cold, we didn't really want to get him sick or anything. So we kind of slacked off a bit. And But since now that they're good, it's a little bit warmer. He's good. He's going to be standing with me. But all right, guys, I'm going to switch out and go to the time lab. Grim's a little bit more calm than Locke was. I am going to switch out the time lapse. You pretty much got a general idea. All you're going to have left is the suds. I'm going to cut it a little short. We'll check in with you when we're done. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely check in. As you saw, a little Ow. bit with Mateus, he keeps grabbing everything. Like, here, I'm going to show you guys because this is actually kind of funny. Hey, Mateus, what are you doing? You know that's dirty laundry. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Oh, you want a rag. No, that's dirty. Hey, what is your fascination with rags? What are you doing? He's got to leave his touch to everything, of course. All right, we're going to boop you back. No. We're going to boop you back. It don't matter. He's going to go walk forward like, ha ha, Dad. What do you think that did? Nothing. Oh, now he's going for that again. Hold on. You're going to fall right out of there, buddy, if you don't chill it. Hey. Haha, <laughs> I got your attention. Nope. Alright, guys. I'll be, uh, we'll be back once uh, we get our take. We're going to try to do the best we can. I don't think... Uh, I can't even honestly tell you how it's going to go. Alright, be back. So, oh, 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 oh. so, little does she know, it is that time. She's usually pretty good. Usually with her, yes. I have to admit, she's usually good as long as Marky gives her the bath. Because she has a habit with me of trying to run away every time. Well, here, let me let me tell a story. Okay, so oh, is, is Grim afraid? Okay, so when I was pregnant, is when we got Kida, and I was barely pregnant. But we all, when we got her, we lived in a studio apartment that only had a stall shower, and so I kind of had to just jump in the shower with her, and she just took showers. I remember that. She used to always shower with But you. she was really, 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 really good in the shower. As long as, like, you were just real sweet to her and stuff, she was really good in the shower. So, she's pretty good, but she's more intimidated by baths than she is showers. But that's just kind of the option we have. And eventually we want to get a sprayer, especially with how many dogs we have. It would make sense because we have her, which is our medium dog, and then Arctic, which, is, which will become our biggest dog because he's still a puppy. For now, because we do have information I want to talk about. We have potentially, we might be getting a bigger one. No, we, no, no, we're not. Anyway. Yes, yes, we no, are. No, we're not. Let, let's be honest, because I was talking to we Sean. Don't, we don't need any more And dogs. if we anyway. get everything straightened out, I'm going down, I'm going to California with Sean, and we're getting a wolf dog. Anyway, so... Yeah, Kita's pretty good with baths, just, she's gonna get a little scared. Kita, um, most dogs, like, uh, she has a cane corso, but I had a boxer before that had the same issue. Dogs that have ears that, oh, here, Kita, sit. Dogs, mm -hmm. <laughs> dogs that have ears that kind of flap over like that, which is like what she has, and like boxers and other, you know, other type of dogs and stuff, have, they tend to get ear infections a little bit more. So we have uh, special medicated eardrops we give her, and her ears are bad right now. But we really, we don't like to give them to her unless she obviously needs them, because they clear her up really fast. And uh, we don't like to give them to her before her bath. We like to bathe her and then do it, because, you know, 
water gets in their ears and stuff like that and helps break down all of that stuff and heal all of that stuff. But her, other than that, Kita is a really easy dog other than her ears. She's yeah. so now she's, the dog She's scared, goes, but she loves her mom. Now, she knows her mom makes her face. She will tell you this. The ones we give the other dogs about, the one that I will have to bathe because she has the hardest time with is Locke. Locke is one of the worst ones to give a bath. And it's not that he doesn't like bath time, it's just he's very hyper. Plus, originally when we had him as puppies, we give him the bath in a sink. She looks so depressed. She's like, what are you doing? Will you, will you get some extra towels? Like, will you give that black one kind of laid on the floor behind me in case I need it? Yeah. She, she does. She looks so depressed right now. She always looks depressed. She's like, what are you doing to me? And we also can't be super loud because on the other side of the wall is a sleeping mechanic. Yeah, they're, they're kind of getting used to that with me. I have a bad habit of recording each time when he's sleeping. Okay, I gotta well, find a good spot where you're not. You Alright, you need a lot. It's okay, Kita. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're just dirty. You desperately need a bath. It's bath time for you. Now, Arctic, I do not know how he's going to be with the bath. That well, one's going to be a little tricky. No, he's good. He just does. He's good. He just needs. You're not seeing him with the hose. No, he needs two hands. She's actually being really calm. I told you, she's really good. You just have to take it slow with her. She's good as long as you take it She slow. still looks depressed. I feel bad. She's like, am I really that dirty? Oh, you're going to feel really depressed when you have to give her her eardrop. Oh, God. No, Kita. No, no, that's no. one that even as much as I would like to show you guys how she is, that's kind of impossible without a third person. I cannot see any possible way for me to record and get her eardrops. Because the last time we did it, to put it in perspective, I had to pretty much body hold her, and that sounds bad, but it's not, because if I don't have my arms and legs around her and just holding her tight, she will fight, well, as her, if it's her, her life depends on it. Well, they help her, yes, but she fights as if her life depends on it. Like, she don't bite her or anything, but she will kick, she will squirm, she will try to run she and do everything so in her power to get away, and it's really bad with her. And I mean, it's like I said, it's not that the bad, they're really good because they help her ears because she gets really bad ear infections where her ears will start bleeding. And some of that has to do with the fact that she will she literally... Her ears are bleeding, she gets stabbed. Well, no, some of them, her ears have bled in some house. Remember back in Falmouth, she would claw at her ears so bad to the point they would bleed. And that was part of the problem was she would claw at her ears and they would just start bleeding. So we had to get these eardrops for her. Now, she's the only one that we have so far that has to do that. Um, Lock and Grim, their ears are fine. The only thing with Lock and Grim, we got to keep an eye on. Zoom up on her fur right now. Look how weird it looks. Oh, yeah. Got that course. The only thing with Lock and Grim, we got to keep an eye out when we give them a bath just for takes because they are outside a lot because they are off leash train. And they'd be great. All I got to do is whistle and they come running every time. <clears throat> now, on the other yeah. hand, she, she, on the other hand, she can get Grim to show up. Lock nine times out of ten will, but he'll give her a little grief for it. But she's, I mean, she's just good unless you see something. I think she does good in general. It's just not with me. She's too skittish around me still. And a lot of that has to do with when we got her. We think she was abused as a puppy. She was abused. She was a bait dog. Well, we don't know that for 100%. We can't confirm it 100% proof and document, no. We just assume because the way she acts. We believe she we was a told. bait dog. And what we were told. And what we were told. But now she is very protective of the house, though. That's just a breed, I think, though. Oh, yeah. Easily. And not, not only that, but also doesn't help with her. She was the runt of the litter, too. So she isn't as big as she potentially could be. Because her breed gets up to 90 pounds minimum. Unless they're the runt. Which is kind of, I, I mean, we were originally were happy with it. I like big dogs. She likes medium-sized dogs, so it worked out perfect. Well, you also have to think how small I am. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why, 
if everything works out this year and I get to go with uh, Sean to California, uh, that's going to be a dog I have to take over. Right? There's no ifs, ands, or buts there because that's going to be a whole new learning field for uh, Marky. She's never owned a wolf dog, let alone understand the intense care and needs that go in with them because of the way their breed is in general. Uh, she had a small dose because of Waylon, which was the uh, father of the pups we have, but he was a low percentage. Like, he's not even really, I think he was like low to mid. Like, he will pass off as like a mounting shepherd mix, easily. Yeah, it's going to get a little bit. I know. That comes over But, uh, like I was saying, she had a low dose of how wolf dogs are. But I don't think she quite realizes yet. Which is fine. It's a good learning curve. It's a good knowledge for her. Because she loves dogs. And the nice part about these dogs, though, that's one thing I wanted to tell her ahead of time. Nice thing is they are full grown. So we don't have to deal with the puppy phase. But we still will have to kind of housebreak them a little bit, some of them. Depending on which ones are left, I don't even know if I will go. But if I do, I'll definitely upload a video on the trip there and on my trip back. I really would love to show you guys just the road trip. Because we aren't going to fly, we decided, because I think he was talking he was going to drive. You should promote Deb on here. Oh, I would love to, but I don't know if she has a video enough for me to promote it. And if she does, I'd love to. I'll have to talk to Sean about it. If, uh... She does have a video that I can promote for you guys to see them. She is in California. She has to downsize to 25 dogs. If she still has any videos of the ones that she does have with current pictures. Because one of the biggest issues Sean had when he went down there the first time. The pictures she had to the way they look now were completely different. And that was a big confusion on Sean's part. Because he was like, uh, what dog am I looking at? And that's what he told me. And so I'll have to talk to him to see if she Hi, has anything Sarah. updated and anything more current. And if she does, I will try to get it up on, uh, I'll get it like as a, um, I guess it'd be like a tag on one of my main videos. So that way you guys can see the dogs. Like I said, they're out in California. They're very beautiful dogs. But, I, I like I said, I think it'd be an interesting video either way. Especially if I get through a road trip. I love road trips. Oh my god, I, I'm looking forward to it if I can go. Road trip videos are the best videos to take. Because they're fun, you get to see all the different sights, and just the humor in it. And what's bad, Sean is like the evil version of me. Like, he's like my twin on when it comes to certain things, and Mark will tell you. He, he's evil. And, well, I mean, I'm okay with that too. Don't just call him evil. He's oh, I'm evil guy. too. It's not in a bad way, it's a good way. I'm not saying it's bad, he's just, he's goofy. Now the one that I've been waiting on, Arctic, because it was just an adventure getting him in here. It was a challenge. Pulling him. We actually had to kind of guide him a little bit, a little bit more. Not forcefully, but more he already knew it. frustratingly. And I'll show you guys here why in a second. Your daddy. There's the big baby. baby. There's the big baby freaking out. With He's not even a white dog anymore. He's brown. Okay. I know. Can you get a close-up on how much dirt is on his face? Get a close-up. No, already like done. Already done. I zoomed in and there Are you big shows. baby? I know. We gotta be a little more patient with you. Ugh. Ooh, Just... Patience is gonna be tested on us, not him. We gotta be really patient because of the fact is like I said, he's freaking out and he's freaking and he out. He has so bad. much more fur. He has a lot more coarser fur. He's a bigger dog, so it's gonna be You might want to take the call well. No. We have a pink collar on because he we had a a black one, don't fit. We had to switch key does out with his with his. We are gonna get him a brand new one now here very soon. Craig, you know, do me a but, favor. Alright guys, I'm gonna log off here for a second and switch it over to uh Craig, you gotta have to help me now. Oh, I don't care what you have to believe in. <laughs> it's not gonna be that hard. Just watch Mateus. I am. Because I don't want him too close because all this shit's gonna splash on him. Like he's already too close. Okay, well then move your head. No, don't I don't care about fucking time lapse right now, Craig. I Craig. got the call. I got the leash. Chill out. I don't care. Put that down now. Relax. Put it down. All the time I'm doing the video is recording. Come on. I don't care. It's harder than you think. I know. I'm watching. You want to switch out? No, because you're going to be mean to him. 
Oh, I won't you be mean to him. Me. You want to switch out? Okay. Yeah, he really trusts you. Switch out with me. Ow. <laughs> switch out with me, sweetheart. Which one on the back of his leg here? Is he like Wayland? Is he eating himself? She is fighting with him something awful where I'm getting yelled at. So now she has to turn the shower head on because he's like, I do not want to be in here. And he is filthy though. Be careful with what you're doing, please, so you don't fall. But no, uh, he, he he gets bad, but he just he's so afraid of him. He's like his dad. He's, yeah, he's like his dad. Waylon was worse though, honestly, in my opinion. But, alright, I'm going to switch it back because, oh my god, I, the poor baby, though. Babe, will you move? Good, no, yeah, that stop falls. filming! Stop filming! Chill out. This is not something you need to film right now, Greg. What, the disaster we're having? Yeah, stop fucking filming. Like, what I so that was a disaster, as you could tell. Shower head, well, shower curtain fell. He's just freaking out really bad. Like, it just, it's not going very pretty. And then I got my taste. I got a little goober butt. Say hello. Or as we also call him, stink bug. He's stinky sometimes. That's okay. Hi. You gonna say hi? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna end this video with the dogs. I got a lot of editing. I got a lot to do. Peace out. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Put a like. Subscribe. Comment. I, at this point, the chaos we just had, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, sorry about the lighting. I didn't really I was changing that. But like I said, leave a thumbs up. I, I had fun, but peace out, guys.